So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some gameplay, and that's right, it's the new season, we've got the new kits, the new players are in there, we're going to be playing on manual, and yeah, I just wanted to basically stick the new boys in the side, see how we do. So Manchester United snapped up Van der Beek from Ajax, 23 year old, hopefully will be a class act, but Chelsea decided to play a little bit of football manager throughout the course of the summertime, picking up Werner, Ziyech. Thiago Silva, Chilwell, I think Havertz might even be coming as well. It's just madness how many players they've bought. Uh, but yeah, it looks great. The kits look phenomenal. We're using Kit Server. It's very simple to do, uh, basically just to update the kits. But yeah, we'll talk about all the fun stuff in the matchup itself. Now, looking at Man United's formation, how would Van der Beek come into this side? You know, I've just put him for now next to Paul Pogba with Bruno Fernandes. On pairs, he is an AMF Van der Beek. So, it's kind of hard to play him and Bruno as AMFs. It's too much, you know. He's got the same traits. They're both whole players. When it comes to Chelsea, we've gone for Ziyech on the left, Pulisic on the right, Werner up top, and then Chiu on the left with Thiago Silva at the back, obviously, with Rudiger. So, it's going to be interesting to see how these players play, how they are chemistry-wise with the side, because it's not easy just to go in a team. Look, you can't buy success. We've seen this happen before with the likes of Man City. It takes time to gel. Uh, but anyway, before we get into all my spiel and talking, this is what we're playing on. So we are playing on full manual, okay? Through balls are on basic, but that's irrelevant when you have pass support switched to off. We've got shooting on manual, and uh, yeah, everything else is just sort of standard. Now, the camera itself, and I'm just going to start playing, because I was already talking all day. I've personally found myself liking dynamic wide custom with more of a height than having a low height than anything else that works for me. And the reason being is I'm struggling to play on the likes of broadcast or stadium camera because if you make the, the wrong pass ever so slightly, that's it. The ball is going to go the complete wrong direction and it's a nightmare. What's happened here, Ref? What's happened here? A bit of a, an early word in the ear. I guess he caught Luke Shaw. Did he? no idea how that's a foul we're playing on default gameplay by the way so yeah this isn't mods that have gone horrendously wrong i'm just going to shoot this because it's bruno fernandez oh my word oh wordy well that's a ridiculous start isn't it banging one in from there bruno what you doing son being on holiday soaking up the rays and he is back with a bang if it's not a penalty it's a free kick and it was a good free kick. He got Kepper in goal, so he was always going to be beatable. And there it is. Beautiful. So anyway, we are playing as well on uh, top player. This is not superstar, it's top player. I have a lot of ideas for the next season. I am going to be, let me tell you this much, streaming probably two times a week when Pez 21 comes out and FIFA. I think it's the only way I'm going to be able to do it is streaming a couple of times a week, get you guys involved uh, and just enjoy it a little bit more. But I think top player is a good way to start if you are trying to sort of figure out manual and just work your way into it because it's not easy. You can see there, terrible pass by myself. You've got to focus and you've got to be fully alert. Lovely ball up the line, Rashford. Right now, Chelsea looking uh, on the edge. Come on, Van der Beek. Now, I know it's, it's it looks like Van der Beek but I believe it's Van der Beek. That's how you pronounce his name. Uh, unlucky Martial. And shooting as well, Emmanuel, will take some time to master and get used to it. I tried switching to advanced shooting. Disaster. Don't like it. I feel like the ball hits the bar nine times out of ten. So for me, no. Just not having that. Well done, uh, Mason. We'll take the foul there, ref. Thank you very much. All right, well, we've got Paul Pogba here. And... Uh, Pogba has got the knuckleball trait. I don't know if this is going to go well or not, but uh, either way, we'll have a go. Oh, there was a bit of dip and swerve on it. A little bit. Not too shabby. Comfortable, though, for Kepa. Aditha Braga. All right, let's get some players in the box as uh, Bruno Fernandes will deliver this one high. Looking for the back post. Maguire was up. Kovacic gets it away. Back to... Uh, 
Luke Shaw skips past the first challenge. Players are queuing up, comes back towards Rashi. Bruno, I'll tell you what, here we go, lads. Here we go. How have we got from distance? Well, Chelsea on the ropes, but as I say, we are playing on top player. This is going to be easier than playing on superstar. But I didn't want to go too brutal. Comfortable again. I still feel United, they've still got to buy some more players. Um, you know, buying one player, and there's a poor header on Manuel. Well, well wide. But buying one centre mid is a good start. We, we need depth at Manchester United. That is what we need. There's not enough quality depth-wise. If Pogba gets injured, Bruno gets injured, there's no one. Who's going to fill the spot? Fred? Is Fred going to come in and do a job? Pereira? McTominay has got better, but still not enough. Even up top, I feel like we're lacking in certain areas. You know, yes, we've got Greenwood. Rashford, has, he's been off the boil for a couple of months, Rashford. He's missed a lot of chances. I don't know if his confidence is shot. But I've been far more impressed with the likes of Martial. So, yeah, United need to start spending. They have to. Look at Chelsea. I mean, they've bought some big signings. Big players. Are they going to compete for the title? I don't think they will. Because I think you need to be able to gel. And it's going to take him a season or two to do that. But that's the whole point of a building phase. All right. Van Abeek gets it down. Start again. Now, this is a 12-minute match. Well, it should have been a 12-minute match, although it seems like it's going a lot slower than that. If I have to cut things out, then I will. Well done, Bruno. Feed it off. There we go. There we go. For 88% completion. Oh, Paul Pogba trying to steal it. There is Thiago Silva. Snapped up for a free. I mean, he is 35 now. The Brazilian. So he's not getting any younger. But he's still, you would class him as... You know, a top defender. I'm not going to say he's best in the world. I mean, definitely not anymore. But at one point, yeah, Thiago Silva was uh, an absolute gem. All right, here we go. Pogba now lay it through. That's not a good ball at all. So, yeah, my plan is, as I say, bit of streaming a couple of times a week. I do want to do a full manual Master League. And, and just that's a yellow ref, surely. A full manual mass league. It will be brutal. It may be horrendous to watch. But that's why I want to stream these matches. Uh, at least that way it's a bit more entertaining. Get you guys involved. And just have a bit of fun. Have a bit of fun. All right, Paul Pogba. We're not going to shoot this, don't worry. We're going to take the, uh, the short one. To Lindelof. Remember Saka. Pogba. Bruno is looking for the back post. Aspilicueta gets it down on the chest. Oh, comes off uh, the Dutchman. Fernandez. Uh, it's a loose pass to Pogba. Mount. Oh, well done, Maguire. Maguire's had enough. He's going for a walk himself. If there's any other teams you guys want to see as well before launch, let me know about new signings. I know Arsenal have made a couple of uh, decent signings too so just let me know in the comments I mean, if Chelsea honestly can snap up Havertz as well <laughs> I don't know that's a scary team but they do need to gel as I say it's not just going to be a case of oh let's buy the world's best players or just buy tons of quality and suddenly you're going to start winning every game no it's not football it's not the way it works chemistry and team chemistry is very very important Look at Manchester United back in the day. They didn't have stacked players. Just that John O'Shea, Wes Brown. These players would take on Barcelona and win. Because they had the chemistry, the ability to grind out the results. Not being the best players. Greenwood lays it inside. Pogba. Right now, keeping the ball decent. Van der Beek. Luke Shaw. Rashford, lovely ball back time to deliver and I like to I like to whip the crosses in I think it is a good way to generally create chances on the flanks although we haven't really got the height in the box saying that I mean when we had Zlatan Ibrahimovic then yeah you could whip one in the box and, and probably get something out of it Pogba 
Greenwood. Oh, Pogba wants it again, you know. Oh, he's found Bruno Fernandes! Unlucky, son. What do you guys make of Man United's new kit? I actually quite like it, I have to say. Uh, pretty solid overall. Okay, so I've switched teams. I'm playing with Chelsea. They didn't have a single chance in the first half, so I'm going to try and play with them here and uh, see if we can create something with them. I, I was wondering how top player would go in this match. So it was more of a test phase just to, to play it out. Because I do find top player is more respectable. Look, the AI will make mistakes, and a lot of the times they will create chances as well. But we are on exhibition. When you play in a cup competition, it's generally a little bit better. So Paul Pogba to take this of his whopper of a run-up. You're not going to shoot from there, son. Let's be honest. He's going to float it in. Flicked on. The best clearance in the world. Pogba again. Fernandez has lost it. All right, unbelievable. Really? Out the way, please. It's Juan Bissaka. Flicked inside. Van der Beek. Feeds it up the line towards uh, Anthony Martial. Bruno looking for the back stick. All right, now we've got a chance here. And have a look at that switch. Ah, not the best ball, was it? Although Harry, ooh, you never know with a big tank. Ref. Let's play. Come on, let the ball, let the boys play. Man United actually playing much better than Chelsea were. It's Luke Short. Should be comfortable for Thiago. Little ball up the line here. Head that back inside, but uh, Luke Shaw covered well. And that's the biggest problem with United. Is Luke Shaw. If he stayed fit, it'd be fantastic. But we know he's going to get injured at some point. And then you're looking at a replacement. Yes, we have Williams. But Williams is also going to get injured. He's a young lad. He's still learning. He's still growing. And the bake. This is good play by Man United. Pinging it about here. Kante steals it. Ziyech. Challenged by Pogba. Harry Maguire. And towards Fernandez. Juan Bissaka with some space. Just looking to clip that over the top towards Greenwood, but Rudiger gets there. Ooh, a bit fortunate. Alright, here we go. Ziyech has got a lot of space ahead of him, and he's got some legs as well. How's the finish? Good lord. And there you go. Prime example is... <laughs> if you aim like a moron, that's what's going to happen. Number one, it was on his weaker foot. I don't know why he struck this of his right, and then it was just a disaster. Disaster. All right, so uh, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's had enough. He's brought on Lingard to replace Rashford. That's a good header. Pulisic, that's not the ball I wanted. I wanted to find Kante. RCL. Nice little bit of football here by United. They've carved us wide open, and Jesse Lingard, I mean, I was slagging him off. He'll probably go ahead and score. Kappa. Towards Kante. Now, obviously, I still have to make a decision about who I'm going to be in my Master League campaign. And that's the big question. So let me know. I mean, I don't know if there's any point in letting me know because at the end of the day, I've got to make the decision. Ziyech. Chill well. This is a little bit better. How's the delivery? It's not bad. Looking for mounts. Van der Beek. I believe he picked up number 34 for Manchester United. Chelsea's numbers aren't really concrete yet. I mean, Ziyech, I believe, has got 22. Werner's picked up 11. Um, Chilwell, I mean, they've said nothing about him. He could be 27. They won't give him 25 because that's uh, Gianfranco Zola's number, and I believe they'd like to keep that one vacant. I can't get the ball to Werner. We've got 20 minutes to spare. But are you guys a lover of manual? Let me know as well. One thing I like about manual, and this is why I enjoy it, is it, it feels so much more rewarding. I mean, it really does. When you can create chances and even score an absolute belter of a goal. Oh, ho, ho, saying that. Kovacic. Rubbish. But yeah, if you can score an absolute belter as uh, Mata comes on for Greenwood, it just feels so good. I was playing the other night. 
scored a, a goal in the 88th minute off my chair shouting bananas going crazy good old good old classic Pez fun that sometimes nowadays you just don't get enough of so yeah let me know if you guys do enjoy manual I mean look you're gonna get a lot of nil nils one nils they're going to happen it's just part and parcel of football though lovely switch Ziek. Chill well. Watch this. Ready? Bang! Oh, missed it. Absolutely missed it. Swan Basak is not the easiest player to take on. Harry Maguire. Towards Lindelof. This will go to penalties if we can score. I decided to just whack on penalties for the sake of it. Mounts. Dink ball over the top. But not the best ball there. Kovacic. All right, here we go. This is it. Pulisic. Ah, trying to dribble with it. But on Kante. And suddenly Man United have switched off a bit here. As for Laqueta, I really just want to whip the ball in. Towards Lindelof. Feeds it up the line. Bruno, Pogba. But it will be interesting. It certainly will be interesting to see what kind of lineups that Oli produces even Frank Lampard with Chelsea he's got a lot of quality in that team now to mix and match and you've got to keep obviously plenty of players happy alright Chilwell Let's feed it inside mounts there's no one there's no one moving Martial oh there's the ball there it is and it's Juan Mata on the left foot but took too long Rudiger gets it away Ziyech misses it. Van der Beek. A chance to feed it up the line. Looking for Jesse Lingard. A good save. Get it out. Finally do. Werner wins the header well. And this is a chance, you know. Look in the middle. Look at the space here for Pulisic. Is he going to get there? He is. But he needs support. There is none. Some players in the box. Oh, come on, lads. <laughs> They're all over the place. And... Well, it was an early free kick by Bruno Fernandes that made it... Well, that was it, wasn't it? One goal to nil. So let me know your thoughts below. We will be doing this. This is what I want to do. I want to do a Master League on full manual like this. If we get some nil-nils, one-nils, if we lose, if we get embarrassed, it happens. Whatever. I'll learn. But I just still feel like it's boring now playing on pass support one. And um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you did enjoy it, Please subscribe, smash the like button, and let me know what other teams you'd like to see um, with the new updated transfers. But until next time, take care.